Hi, hello everyone. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So in this video, uh, I'm going to tell you something about the subject name called electric circuit analysis because many of you are asked so many questions, so many doubts, so many confusions regarding the subject. So that I hope I'll clarify your doubts and confusions with this video. And uh, first of all, I am really sorry I cannot give you the PDF and all uh, because I, I am not prepared and all now. So I can note it down whenever I am telling. So here the subject is like this. Everybody knows for ENC and electrical students, network analysis or circuit analysis. <laughs> you guys know that how it is. So now model A1, model A2 are very important now because you hardly have five model A's. You know the pattern of video syllabus. You need to write it for five questions, one question carry 20 marks and all that. I am not going to explain much about that. How to crack the subject, that is very important. How we have to prepare for the subject, that is also very important now. Because uh, you cannot just prepare two or three modules to clear this kind of subjects. So you need to put some effort and it is not completely theory subject. It includes both theory as well as numerical. and. Uh, uh, priority is for only problems max you already know about the subject and also uh, you should concentrate more so i tell you it is very it may help you i am not sure about the questions but it will help you to crack some or else score some good marks for this subject first and foremost you need to constant concentrate on module one and module two so theory questions you need to concentrate you should not leave theory because it will mix mixed up with a theory as well as problem. If the question paper is too difficult, then you can get only problems. Okay. So theory questions, what and all you have to expect? Model A1, Model A2. You, you should plan to target 40 out of 40 from Model A1 and Model 2 Because hardly for Model A1, you have some three theory questions. Like, you know, they will ask you the definitions of active elements, passive elements, ideal and practical sources linear and bilateral elements so these definitions they will ask it for some six to seven marks apart from that you'll be having a simple two derivations that is star to delta transformation or delta to star transformation anyone you can expect in the examination theory so what much you can expect max to max they will ask you to write the procedure to solve mesh analysis or node analysis they will ask you some simple duality network problem so this is the concept in a model one so what you have to do, you have to thoroughly practice and uh, you have to thoroughly practice and remember star to delta transformation, delta to star transformation, the videos which are available in my channel. You can go through the playlist of uh, electric circuit analysis, you'll get to know. So here you practice these three theory questions, then you need to practice mesh analysis problems. It includes uh, super mesh, simple, simple, two, two problems. All the problems which are available in my playlist, we just go through that. Simple mesh problems, mesh analysis problem and nodal analysis. It's mixed with in the question paper, you can expect one theory question or else one problem from source transformation and shifting, one problem from mesh analysis, one problem from nodal analysis and one problem from uh, duality. In this, again, easiest way is to solve AC circuits. Many of you are having a... Uh, Many of you are thinking like AC problems are very difficult to solve and all, but, because, but uh, the problems, AC problems are very easy. Only the thing is that you should know how to substitute the values in calculator in complex form and how to apply Cramer's rule, that you should know. Okay, you can easily get the answers. Don't leave AC problems also. So some three problems, DC in a mesh and two problems AC, it includes a super mesh as well as, and you need to practice uh, super node problem. Super node problems which are very easy. I know telling very easy is very simple, but you just go through the problems hardly you can see the old question papers and all. Uh, you'll get to know what kind of questions they asked. You can easily crack the node and super node problems and duality problems. So the first and foremost thing, star to delta transformation, delta to star transformation, theory as well as problems. Okay, then you need to practice mesh, super mesh, node super node first model you should not leave any concept everything you need to practice coming back to second model especially for electrical and electronic students now hardly you have only four theorems according to video syllabus now they reduced it 
सुपर पोजिशन एंड तेबिनियन नॉर्टन मैक्सीम पवर ट्रांसफर तेरम फोर थेरी क्वेश्चन इन दैट यू कैन एक्सपेक्ट एनी ऑफ टू थेरी क्वेश्चन दैट इज स्टेट एंड एक्सप्लेन सुपर पोजिशन थेरम और स्टेट एंड एक्सप्लेन तेबिनियन थेरम स्टेट एंड एक्सप्लेन नॉर्टन थेरम one derivation will be there in a maximum power transfer theorem you practice that in the condition of ma condition for uh, maximum power transfer theorem everything you need to practice okay so theory you just go and uh, practice so it is there in my playlist as well as if you want i'll upload more in uh, more and more problems in uh, coming days but you should not leave model h2 you need to practice simple problems from superposition theorem that should not have any dependent sources only independent source problems which will be applied to the superposition theorem thevenin's theorem norton's maximum power transfer theorem if you know how to solve so thevenin's theorem you can easily solve maximum power transfer theorem and also superposition theorems are which are very very easy you can easily solve this i know i am telling easy is very simple again you just go and see simple simple problems there is no complicated problems so that i am telling you to target 40 Out of forty from model one and model two, state and explain superposition theorem, state and explain Thevenin's theorem, state and explain Norton's maximum power transfer theorem, and also the condition for maximum power transfer theorem derivation. Theory. First, you need to practice all these theory. Then you go for the problems. If you are leaving theory, sometimes it may trouble because most of the time you will get forty-five to fifty marks theory questions only. so that you have to go and practice the theories and coming back to model 3 which is again where is model 3a resonance circuit so hardly you have some derivations you need to practice leave about the problems problems you can practice it later for model 3 model 3 you need to practice what series resonance circuit that is a resonant frequency at series rlc circuit resonant frequency when rl is parallel to c when rl is parallel to rlc three derivations you have along with that one bandwidth derivation and algebraic mean that is f0 equals to square root of f1 into f2 total five concept you need to practice five derivations or five theory equations that you should practice out of that minimum to minimum 10 marks you can easily get it in a model 3 theory question one problem they will ask either if either it is related to your series resonant circuit or parallel resonant circuit if they ask problem means they will not ask theory and coming back to model 3b you will be having what rl under dc excitation rc under dc excitation two derivations any one you can expect and also and also don't leave switching problems you just prefer old question papers whatever the problems they asked in old question paper hardly will get five to six questions anyhow i solved all the questions in uh, my playlist in aca playlist so that you just go through that and practice switching problems you can easily score again out of 20 12 to 15 marks you can easily get it now leave about the laplace laplace i will tell later coming back to model if i z parameters y parameters abcd parameters theory you need to practice and also z in terms of y y in terms of z abcd in terms of z abcd in terms of y hardly you have some six derivations a simple simple derivation if you know one thing means you can easily do it for other thing if you getting difficult to solve z parameters and y parameters problems again you just go to the model if i b you have three phase unbalanced circuit simple simple problems you will be having in a model if i b so i'll upload 5b video tomorrow anyhow but you should not leave model if i a 5b so first you need to be perfect in model 1 model 2 model 5 then you need to practice 5 to 6 theory questions from resonant circuits and you need to practice the problems on series parallel resonance and also switching problems hardly 5 to 6 problems back to the laplace transformation if you are having very much difficult to solve laplace transformation problem means you just practice uh, initial value theorem and final value theorem that is 100% definite question state and prove initial value theorem final value theorem and problems on initial value theorem final value theorem and laplace transformation of sin omega t cos omega t cos square t sin square t laplace transformation of uh, unit step function ram function impulse function if you are getting so much difficult in laplace transformation just leave everything just practice this at least you can easily get some 8 to 9 marks from model a 
so these all you need to practice so this is a plan i'm telling you so you need to execute this plan on time means that you need to give some hard work so that uh, that is up to you like how we'll spend time so with this i'm wishing you a very best of luck do well in the examination uh, for all the subjects and uh, especially so ma many of you are so much tensed regarding the circuit analysis and network analysis problems and that subject don't worry about that to practice give you a hundred percentage definitely you can crack the exam so all the very best so if these tips helps means kindly share it to your friends and uh, subscribe max and i i hope my subscribers will give support to me so you can go through the playlist called electric circuit analysis and network analysis i solved almost all the problems whatever which comes under uh, whatever which may come to the examination so that practice well okay all the very best do well thank you have a nice day